So we've seen a fairly big update with the introduction of tier 3 land, new territories and ether boosts. First off, let's look at what new territories are. If you think of how borders of countries operate inside of Earth 2 now, each one has its own land value and its own boundaries. Territories are similar to that but inside of a country and are made up from existing Earth 1 boundaries. For example, the United States will be broken down into states, Belarus will be broken down into regions and Malta broken down into localities. However, once a territory does become independent, the tier 1 and tier 2 land value does remain tied to the wider country and the independent pricing only appears to be that of the new tier 3 land, with tier 3 prices increasing independently from the country for each territory. Now, these territories do vary massively in size depending on the country. For example, a country as large as Belarus, the home of Shun City, is split into 6 territories, whilst Italy is split into 107 and this varies across every country, some huge, some tiny, and many sitting in between the two. Now, sizes have been a bit of a hot topic, but I personally really like the huge variety of sizes. I think it will really create some interesting game mechanics and allow for a variety of tactics further down the line. Now, these territories aren't all coming out at once. In fact, for now, it looks like they will be released one at a time because Earth 2 have introduced a voting system for us, the players, to elect which territories become independent, or at least the order that they do become independent anyway. So, how does voting work? Firstly, for a territory to be listed for votes, it needs to be submitted. Anyone with tiles in that territory can be the first to submit, and once it's been done, you will find it listed below for other players to be able to vote. There's even a search box to make finding the one you're after a little easier. Now, we can vote using our land tiles, Essence, or both. However, to vote with Essence, you do still need a whole land in that country, and the land tiles do need to be in the territory you're voting for. They do also have varying voting power. For example, one T1 tile is the equivalent of 10 votes, one T2 tile is the equivalent of 5 votes, and one Essence equals one vote. Now, one thing to bear in mind, voting with Essence does appear to lock it up until the territory is approved. And with thousands of territories, Essence could potentially end up being locked up for years. So just make sure you're happy with the risk and that you're fairly certain it will be one of the faster territories to be approved if you are going to use Essence. You may also notice there's an option to vote for the time of release too, if you have a preference. And no matter which time you pick, the votes will still go to the total votes balance of that property. But the time with the most votes will be the successful release time for that property the day it goes live. Right, so now that you know about the voting system, you should also know that once a new territory opens, it unlocks tier 3 land within that territory. With prices starting at 10 cents and rising independently of the primary country for each territory. However, the T1 and T2 land values are still tied to the wider country. So, what's the difference about Tier 3? Well, going from what Shane said on Discord, Tier 3 is the base tile and will be the last of all land tiers. Tier 3 cannot support a mentor, therefore cannot mine Aether directly from Earth 2. Tier 3 will have what Earth 2 call a seed that can be upgraded to a mentor if the tier is upgraded. Tier 3 cannot build side roids, although it can host them. Tier 3 cannot synthesize civilians. Tier 3 cannot spawn jewels. Tier 3 can detect resources, but cannot harvest the occurrence units directly. Tier 3 will not have any land classes and it will not have any dual slots. Now, it has been said T2 will remain for sale for now, although it has been hinted that it might close at some point. Just make sure you guys don't fall more into buying tons of new tiles and tons of new territories. There's literally going to be thousands of new territories open, and that could get very expensive very fast. 
Now the last thing we do need to cover is the new Ether Boost. However, I will likely do a standalone video on this, so I'm going to keep it fairly brief. Basically, the new feature rewards T1 and T2 landowners with an Ether Boost for collecting your Ether daily. This boost comes from a pool and any leftover, as in not collected via the boost, will then roll over to T3 landowners becoming attracted to the baby version of the mentor, the seed. So a good chance for all landowners from tier 1 all the way down to tier 3 to make some extra ether. Now as always, I hope that's helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Peace out.